Ega raba so kata raba so ekata. The blood of Jesus. Grace. 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 Grace and mercy. Reba shota ya kabaso. Grace and mercy. Grace. Grace. More grace on us, God, on this generation of people that you've created in this day and time. My God. Grace and mercy. Grace and mercy. Grace and mercy. God said, I've created you. I've placed you in a land that was fertile. Uh huh. Just like the people of Israel. He brought them out of Egypt, out of the bondage, out of the cages, out of a place that was holding them down. Uh, but when he delivered them, when he delivered them, come on somebody, when he delivered them, they went right back to doing the same old things. They went back to disobeying the God of all gods, the King of glory, the Lord, the I am that I am, Alpha and Omega, the very God that delivered them. They had, they still had the mindset, even though they were in and out, even though they were out of, excuse me, they were out of the uh, 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 bondage and they were in now a place where God was preparing them for the promised land, my good God Almighty. But they still had the mindset here. You see, they still had the mindset of Egypt. Bondage. They're telling Moses, take me back here. Uh, uh, why'd you bring us here to suffer? And they were just very ungrateful. This is the generation. This is the generation. Uh huh. Ungrateful to God. Can't even wake up to pray to Him in the morning. You're flaunting your riches all over the place. People are dying back and forth. Oh my goodness. Grace. Reba show. Grace, 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 grace and mercy. Ah, let it be stored upon the children of God because God is upset. <laughs> He's upset with this generation of people that is so complacent, that is so, they're so used to mediocre. They're so used to doing things on their own. They are no more spiritual minded. They are so carnal minded. God is upset. And he said destruction. Destruction begins in the house of God. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you something. Calamity is coming. Whether you want to listen to the prophet of God or not, you don't have to. But God have caused some of us, real ones, the little ones, the nobodies, the, the outcasts out of the land to come in to be a mouthpiece for him, to be the Jeremiah's, to be the Ezekiel's, and to be the annals of this day. God bless many of you with gifts. Expecting you to use the gift for his good. You took the gift that God gave you for your own messed up gain. Gain to gain attention. Lovers of yourselves. Busters of yourselves. Ah, God said, I'm mad with this generation. And what I'm getting ready to do next is going to be mind blowing. And all of the righteous, all of the faithful will survive this time. Shokarabaso. Only the faithful in God will survive. This next phase that is coming in this generation, in this century of time. Oh, those of you that have done so much to God and you think you can get away with it. God said not so. I've been watching you for a long time and you have no gratefulness. You don't have no sincerity in your heart. You don't even have a sorry. <coughs> A sincere sorry. Calamity has come. And it starts in the house of God. All your ritualistic uh, uh, preaching. All your preaching that you do. That only, uh, 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 we must do it our church way. We must do it this way. It's no more God's way. It's do it our church way. Our church way, God said, you've been teaching my people wrong doctrine. You've been instilling in my people death. You are killing them spiritually and now they're getting ready to die physically you will see people dropping off the pulpits just says the lord god almighty wake up out of your slumber and those shepherds ezekiel 34 those shepherds god wants you he wants you in ezekiel 34 and he told you be careful how you take care of my sheep 
because if one of my sheep is missing, that's 